everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Sit, Pan. Today is an exciting day because it is update number one for Project Polish. So Project Polish, of course, I'm trying to work my way through my way to big nail polish collection because I've been holding way too much stuff over the last couple of years. So to fix that, let's use up some bottles. Now, I did this project last year, so of course, check out the full playlist where I finished up so much, so much. And we are off to a really good start this year. As you guys know from my intro, I am currently working on three nail polishes, which I was a little worried would be too limiting and that I would get really bored of the polishes, but I've been doing well. I haven't gotten bored and I've made a really, really good progress. So let's just dive into it. As a refresher, this was my current nail wheel here, so very wintry appropriate. So let's start off with this blue here, which is the base for my manicure today. Now, of course, my manicure is pretty much every day. Pedicure in the winter is looking like every two weeks. I'm not doing that well in that regard. But I will show you topper combinations as well. So let's start off with that blue. This is from Essie in Midnight Cami. This is a full bottle. For Essie, that means 13.5 milliliters. Now, guys, I've been prioritizing this one. And remember, the line I did at my intro was slightly too high, so it's going to look like more progress than it actually is. But there we go. That is where I was in the intro. This is where I'm at now. So we're about halfway on the bottle there. So very, very exciting. This one has been moving. Like I said, this has been my priority. So I have used this one 13 times since the intro. Now I believe two of those were pedicures, but the rest were manicures. So I've been really focused on this one. It does require two coats as it usually does. <sighs> awesome. So 13 uses from those lines there. So based on that, if I'm able to keep that momentum up, another two months, which would be about where I'd want to be done with this polish. So let's talk about some combos. So combo number one, of course, the C&D Glitter Sneakers. This one was rolled in for 10 uses in a project as well. So I did this manicure several times. I also did this one from New Color. This is just 935, just because I wanted to test it out. Turned out really nice. I did enjoy this particular topper combo. It did make the whole manicure look green, so I'll kind of really switch it up there. Um, I also did from Pacifica Rainbow Gloss. You guys have seen me use this one a fair amount. Um, decent, decent manicure. NYC, this unnamed nail polish topper that's been in my collection forever. This is probably the oldest one. It is also currently on my nails today but I will show you a nice shot of it in the light because in the natural sunlight, oh my gosh, so pretty. I tried this little topper from OPI. I assume this is shaking my sugar plums, but I'm not entirely sure, but use that one. And then just an okay manicure um, from Sally Hansen, the Extreme Wear line in Confetti Craze. Um, this one is just very liquidy. You don't get a whole ton of those glitters. I know if you just use a sponge, you can get more, but it was also kind of hard to remove, so I was a little on the annoying side. That was the blue in Midnight Cami. Let's move on to this kind of more neutral color option here. So that, of course, was another SE color. This one in Merino Cool. So this one, less of a focus, but still, my I basically use them in the order that they are on the nail swatch wheel. We started here. And I got it down to here. So that's still some really good movement. This one, I'm okay if it lasts a little bit longer because it is more on the neutral side. This one, I did get nine uses on. Now, I don't like it as a pedicure. So, yeah, I only did that, I think, once. So eight manicures on this one. Again, two coats. And I did lots of toppers with this guy as well. The one I did for most of these manicures, again, the C&D Glitter Sneakers. This was the manicure I did most of my uses with this one on. I think like 7 out of the 10 were with Merino Cool. One I didn't enjoy as much. I tried it. Didn't think I would like it very much, and I was right. The NYC Topper. Yeah. Yeah, not, not so good. Love it on this blue. Not so much on that more nude color. 
And then I also did it with this topper from Sally Hansen. This is their Miracle Gel Line in Eternally Grapefruit. Um, just to kind of bring a little bit of some brightness to it. So I did lots of that. Nine uses on that one. So we're moving right along. This was the last polish that was in there as of the intro. This is my nude. You can see maybe a slight difference between the nail wheel and the polish here. This one was a rollover from last year, the L'Oreal Nude Demoiselle, and you guys can already tell how low it's getting. Now, because of where it's at, it looks like I've got two additional marks here. Um, this is me trying to do one mark. So these two lines are actually the same. So this mark is where I was last time. This is where I'm at now. So as you guys can see, there is not much in there. And to get the usage from here to here was only three manicures. Now as a nude, this one does take three coats, so it does take more polish. Um, so we're getting really, really close to the end of this bottle. And again, I'm not worried about every last drop. Once it becomes too inconvenient to get stuff out, and again, it's getting quite thick and goopy as you guys can see there. Um, once it becomes too difficult to work with, that's when I call it done. So that's where it was. Now, of course, I did tell you guys last month that I had stuff in mind that I wanted to roll in for this month. So let's talk about the previous color story and the current color story going into February. So we're going to start here. This is my red. So obviously I need to have a red for Valentine's Day. And I've chosen this one because it is more of a wintry red. But don't worry, it's a mini, so I should be able to get through it before we get too far into spring. This is from Sephora Collection. So last year I had purchased the little five kit from Sephora to try out their nail polishes. I used one of them up last year in my project polish, and now I want to get through the red because I have been missing a red. I had Jolly Red at Christmas time last year, but then other than that, I had one. Was it February as well? Like it was way back early. This is a five milliliter, so obviously much smaller than the other ones. I have gotten some use on it. I have used it, I think twice as my pedicure, alternating it with the Midnight Cami, because I knew I was gonna roll it in. Now with those two pedicure uses, I don't see any progress on this one. This is the Sephora Collection It Girl. And based on my experience with one of these creams last year, this is going to take a long time to go through. But that's okay. We'll start using it. <laughs> um, okay, guys, we need to talk about this gold topper here. This is also from Sephora Collection. This is in the shade Gold Fever. I should have remembered that. Now, if you're familiar with Roses Are Red, I had rolled this polish in for 14 uses. And because it's a topper, like this was moving so incredibly slowly, I did not expect to actually finish it before I reached those 14 uses. Because as you guys can maybe see, we're looking real empty. Like obviously there's still stuff up on the side, but there is like, nothing coming out like a little bit like you'll get this for one one nail and then you're no go and there's the mixer balls really kind of making it look like there's more at the bottom I even went in with like one of the wooden sticks for pushing back your cuticles to try to scrape some of this out which again that's more work than I normally do on a polish so why I am including it in project polish because it is technically done. Last year's project polish, I did have a topper that I never did roll in. So it wasn't on the nail swatch wheel. And I kind of regretted that. I kind of want the full sense of what you actually used up in a year. And so I have put it on my wheel, but it is technically finished. So that's my new wheel. We have our first empty in project polish, which you never saw in this project, but whoops. So what I'm left with, of course, is this color story going into February. So I'm very excited about that. And then, of course, in March's update, I do have some other colors I do want to be rolling in. So let's talk about goals. Goal number is it one. It's more of a secondary goal, personally. But I do want to finish off 
the nude because there's so little left. Again, I don't know how close to the bottom I'm going to be able to get on this, so it could be another two manicures, could be six manicures. We'll have to kind of see. But I would like to get this one out because it's so close to being done that we might as well just move it out, get the ball rolling a little bit more, fill up some more nail polishes on here. But otherwise, the main priority, again, is going to be on Midnight Cami and just really pushing that, uh, seeing how far I can take this guy. Because again, I'm not going to want this when we get into spring, which really is more like April for us here in Canada, but oh, so far to go. But I did so, so well. So another two months, month and a half. Month and a half, two months is what I'm anticipating if I'm able to use this as much as I have been. So that is our wheel. Those are our goals. So let's see what I'm able to do for the next month of a project polish. So thank you so much for joining me for today's update. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.